America recently celebrated another birthday and once again people from all over Southern California flocked to El Segundo for the party. Let's take a look at the day and nighttime festivities. Happy Independence Day! I'm here at El Segundo's Recreation Park for the annual 4th of July celebration. You can see a sea of red, white and blue behind me. Everyone here is proud to be an American. Let's go see what they're up to. You go to bed in El Segundo on July 3rd and this morning you wake up in Keokuk, Iowa. You know, it's really kind of Midwestern atmosphere here in El Segundo. It's, it's a big uh, town event and a family atmosphere. Happy 4th of July! There's no shopping, you know, no chores, just a day to have fun outside. The Diaper Derby Crawler Race was the first of the day's many contests. Yay! She crawls really fast when she wants pirate's booty. <laughs> I let her have some pirate's booty before the race, and then I just held it in front of her, and I knew she would follow it. <laughs> We've been practicing all year, huh? <laughs> This year is a good year, I guess. Both first place winners. The water balloon toss was the place to show off your skills or get wet trying. Get it up, get under it. You know, you have to have eye a hand coordination. We've been partners for a while, so it's amazing, man. This guy can catch balls like a champ. <laughs> With every competition organized by age group, there's no reason why you can't give each one a try. <laughs> oh, we did it! <laughs> I'm here with David, who is my partner in the three-legged sack race. Now, David, how did we not win? Because, you know, when you have two legs, you should be able to run, right? And three legs, you should be faster. Well, my legs are a little bit longer than yours, so my, my step wasn't, we weren't really choreographed too well. And some people out here, there's some ringers from other towns, I think, came out and helped us. They just whooped us. I asked some winners how they did it. When it's uh, one, move your first foot, and when it's two, move your both inside feet. Okay, yeah. Get set. Go. Knowing which feet to start with also Time helped Lisa and Wyatt win the parent and child sack race. It's exciting. We, last, last year, last year, last year we, we fell. fell. We fell last year, so we were ready to come back for a vengeance this year. So we did good. Yeah. <laughs> a great way to recuperate from an intense sack race workout is by checking out all the boots. <laughs> we have some light up stuff for at night, and we also have rings, you know, and they glow in the dark. Proceeds from the toys and gadgets benefited El Segundo Youth Drama's productions of Schoolhouse Rock and Bye Bye Birdie. We're trying to get a live band for our show, um, and we're doing pretty well. So we're trying to recruit volunteers um, for fostering and just uh, fundraising, and also just a lot of exposure for our pups and let them know, people, this is where you can go if you need a dog, a great dog. A lot of people are having to turn in their animals when they lose their homes and we help them find new homes. Brody is one of the 4,000 dogs who has found a home through the Golden Retriever Club of Greater Los Angeles Rescue. El Segundo High School's choir students were raising money for their trip to England. Today we have airbrush. Uh, they're like tattoos, but they're face paint quality, so it's a face paint that lasts about two weeks. And then we have our students face painting, and then we have cotton candy. We are fundraising because our choir was accepted to sing in the 2012 Olympics in London. I'm really excited because it's my senior year, so I'll have a lot of fun. Look at all these eggs. There are eggs everywhere, more than 1,100 dozen of them. But don't think about having these for breakfast. These are actually cascarones, confetti eggs, being sold by the El Segundo Women's Club. And believe it or not, they sell out every year. Every year since the late 60s, this booth helps seven El Segundo High School students with the cost of college. Colleen Ramsey got the club to start this tradition 40 years ago. We give a $500 to $1,000 scholarship depending on the need, but the seven that we give come from the money we earn from this. The club spends nearly a year preparing these eggs. We meet and fill eggs for an hour and a half, two hours, and then go to lunch. <laughs> and speaking of lunch, there were lots of tasty items on the menu at the park. C-H-U-R-R-O! Churro! From freedom crepes to hot dogs, burgers, and pizza, good food wasn't hard to find. But for those who wanted something quick and filling, there were the eating contests. Why did you decide to enter the watermelon eating contest? I was hungry. Fans of lemon meringue did well at the El Segundo Kiwanis Club's pie eating contest. Tatiana competed in her very first pie-eating contest and won. 
How did you eat it so fast? Um, I guess I have a big <laughs> I'm excited for next year to come back and do it again. You get the little kids out there, it takes like a minute for them to finish it. By the time we get to the 18 year olds, it's like, it's gone in 10 seconds. I'm not kidding, it's just amazing fun to watch. Well, some people would pies up their nose and stuff in their throat. I was like, the fastest eaters of each age group went home with a Cold Stone Creamery gift card. I tilt my pie at the very beginning, so I'm sitting on the side and I can get to the crust quicker. I come from a long line of pie eaters, and uh, there's some family secrets that, you know, make us the best pie eaters in town. Fast or slow, there was something uniting everyone at Red Park, patriotism. You know, we celebrate our freedom here in the United States. Not only do we get to celebrate our country, well, we get to celebrate all those that serve our country. I support the United States. It was a day for food, fun, family, and friends. And at night, it was all about the fireworks. The city's uh, had a tough year, but uh, Chevron uh, came through and donated $25,000, and uh, we were able to have this event. Hello, Del Segundo! A quartet of cast members from Broadway in the Park sang the national anthem. and then the glittering fireworks lit up the sky.